Sophie Zhang, and today I will be teaching you about perimeter and area. Let's focus on perimeter first. Perimeter is the continuous line forming the, forming the boundary of a closed geometric figure. Let's first look at how to find a rectangle's perimeter. A rectangle is two parallel, has two parallel si sides and four right angles. And the formula to find perimeter is P equals 2W plus 2L. L stands for length and W stands for width. Let's look at this example right here. You can see a rectangle as it has two parallel sides, four right angles. And you can see that the rectangle RSTU has a length of 8 and a width of W. You can see that the segment RS is equal to 8 and ST is equal to 4. Now let's look at the formula right here. P equals 2W plus 2L. Now let's plug in the numbers. W is equal to 4. L is equal to 8. P equals 2 times 4 plus 2 times 8. And 2 times 4 equals to 8. And 2 times 8 equals to 16. So 8 plus 16 is 24. So the perimeter of this rectangle right here is 24. Let's look at a different example. How do I find the perimeter of a square? A square is two parallel sides and four right angles, and it has all sides are congruent. So the formula to find the perimeter of a square is P equals 4A. A stands for side. Let's look at this example right here. You can see that square A, B, C, D has four congruent sides, and you can see that all sides are equal to five. Let's take the formula, P equals 4A, and then plug in five for A, since A is the side and five is the side of A, B, C, D. P equals four times five, P equals 20. So the perimeter of this square right here is 20 degrees, I mean 20, 20. Okay, and then let's look at area. Let's focus on area now. Area is the number of unit squares that can be contained with, within it, okay? So let's look at rectangle. How do I find the area of a rectangle? Now, we'll use this formula. A equals L times W. L is, stands for length and W stands for width. Let's use this example right here. Now, if you look closely, there's a length of 5 and a width of 2. We take those two numbers and plug it in, into the formula. A equals L times W. A is equal to 5 since 5 is the length and 2 since 2 is the width. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. So this, the area of this rectangle right here is 10. And if you count closely, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 unit squares. Oh. Okay. And then after a rectangle, let's learn how to find the area of a square. The area of square uses this formula, a equals a squared. A is stands for side. Let's look at this example. You can see that all sides are equal to three. Oh, all sides are three. And if you take the formula and plug it three into the place where a stands, a equals a squared, a equals three squared, since three is the side length. Three times three equals to nine. So this, the area of this square is nine. And if you look closely, you can see that there's exactly nine unit squares. Thank you for watching.